You know, before I donned this flamethrower, I was working on a rocket launcher. Of course, I never really got around to finishing the thing, because, um, well, I didn't know where to get rockets. But, uh, anyways, I was just thinking it sure do the trick against these roadblocks. John's been taking people into an underground bunker. Not like I need to tell you. He's got one of yours, right? He thinks he's saving their souls, but really, they're just puppets in this messed up game the seeds are playing. So get this, I hear that John sends some kind of video when he's coming for you. Just like them old VHS board games or something. Man, those were fun games. Scary, too. Keep seeing all these fucking roadblocks. This cult doesn't get who they're fucking with. I'm gonna make them understand. There's not enough cows in the valley to feed all them doomsday dildos underground for long. They'll be wishing they left a few alive. John Seed, what a fucking self-absorbed dick, huh? You just know he jerks off in the mirror and marvels at his fucking facial expressions. You've been marked by John. That means he's gonna come and get you. Not him personally. Guy's too much of a fucking pussy for that. He'll put a bounty on you. Coward's way of getting things done. Here's a thought. John's thing is the power of yes, right? So you think if, like, when he comes at you, like the boogeyman, if you just yelled, yes, 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 a bunch of times, and he'd just leave you alone? Like, I mean, he'd have to respect the power of his own philosophy, right? And at least act like it was working against him or something. I don't know, it's worth thinking about. Everybody's staying off the roads now. Kind of a good thing if you ask me. A lot of drunk-ass drivers here. Belly folk tend to be on the soft side. I hope they're doing okay. Hey, Depp. I just want to say I'm sorry. I, I, I heard John's got a partner of yours. It's got to be scary, you know. You probably heard about how John cuts people up and knows all these pressure points and can make you feel pain beyond anything you ever imagined. And Anyways, don't think about that, I'm sure. I'm sure she's fine. She'll be all right. You heard about that, though, that he does that? Yeah. Yeah. Holland Valley used to have such a community feel to it. Especially Falls End. That town's one of a kind. But look around now. Barely any folks out. Roadblocks everywhere. Trucks rumbling up and down the street full of shit the Peggy's are taking from us. How do we let it get so bad? What is the point of tattooing someone if you're just gonna cut it off? Don't make no kind of sense, man. I'm trying a little too hard to be edgy if you ask me. So many folks are scared. A lot of my friends have left town, even. Bunch of cowards. I ain't going nowhere. I hear Eden's Gate legally owns a fuck ton of the land and property around here, too. This is like redneck Scientology. God damn, it is a wasteland out here. Everyone's either been taken by the cult or they're hiding in their homes. Guess the flip side of that is if you see somebody, you can be 99% sure it's a Peggy. Something to keep in mind if it's dark and you're wondering whether or not you should pull the trigger on some silhouette. Might not be the brightest idea, but hear me out. Nobody gets into John's bunker unless they've been cleansed, right? Maybe that's your ticket. Then you just Arnold your way out of there. Or am I the only one who thinks that way? What the hell's so special to the Peggy's about baptizing anyway? It's just a little birdie bath. Most folks around here shower here at least once a week. They don't gotta go hosing us off before locking us up. Fucking cults turning up the heat with their planes. Can't shoot them down with my bow, but I can put an arrow through their face when they land. The thing that always bugs me about John Seed is, who goes to a lawyer what's tatted up more than a gangbanger? What's the skies, deputy? You know you got the cult's attention when they're scouting you from the air. Those chosen are relentless fucking pilots, too. I thought the roadblocks were bad, but at least they were easy to get around. Cult planes in the air is a whole other story. They got a bird's eye view on everything. How are we supposed to avoid those? I guess you don't. Just scramble for cover. Trust me when I say this, I have seen a lot of crazy people, and I've seen them from all over the world. Okay, but these Peggies, they take the dang cake, okay? Back in Kyrat, I used to know this guy... Pagan men, maybe you heard of him. He was crazy as the day is long, but at least the man knew how to throw a party. Best damn crab rangoon I ever had, I swear. Damn cult owns the roads now. Folks aren't even using them. Well, book that. 
I'll keep taking him. I got a right to Rhodes and everything else that cult keeps swiping. The Peggy's had to have planned all this way ahead of time. They're harvesting at record speed. I guess they had little meetings. John probably hunkered over his map, getting a hard on for the sound of his own voice. Oh, <laughs> now there's a thought. You've been marked by John, huh? Well, don't beat yourself up. Everyone gets marked eventually. However, I'm guessing you got bumped to the top of his shit list, so keep an eye over your shoulder when I'm not around to protect you. I hear you and Pastor Jerome teamed up and ruined John's little cleansing party. Keep him close, deputy. Jerome's a servant of God who ain't afraid to be on the front lines. He'll stick his neck out for people he believes in. And you're one of them. Gates, bunkers, tiki bars, whatever they want to call them, I do not trust those holes in the ground, man. Johnny Boy wants to invite me to come purify myself. Why well, invite him to kiss my entire asshole? Purify that. When this shit first went down, I kept track of the Peggies I killed. Couldn't tell you how many I've slayed now. If I had to guess, I'd say at least 500. Maybe six. These whack jobs are their own damn collapse, if you ask me. Burning shit like they're fucking Sharky Bosha. It's a dry year. They're out of their minds. Sometimes I get to thinking, Pastor Jerome, he's the next messiah. No, listen, man. I'm serious, okay? He's always in the right place at the right time. I heard he broke you loose from the cleansing, and the two of you spoiled John's little fucking kidnap hall. Good, man. Fuck that guy sideways. John, I mean, not the pastor. I don't think pastors can fuck. I mean, not that, like, if he could fuck, I'd try to fuck with him, but whatever. He's the shit, and fuck John. One thing about John, the more you ruffle his feathers, the angrier he gets. He can't deal with embarrassment, being made to look bad. He'll start sending out search parties to grab people like us, so we gotta stay frosty. John's lusting for a dogfight with you, huh? I bet that kid jerked it to Top Gun or something, and now it's the only way you can get as stiffy as in a dogfight. <laughs> oh, if you have to kick the bucket, I hope that's one of your last thoughts. It's a good one. Tide's turning now. Can't show no mercy. Gotta keep the pressure on these fucks. Stomp on their necks while they're down. John's playing a strange game with you. Don't know what's worse, but sometimes he seems to want you dead, or sometimes he seems to want you alive. John tattoos the name of a sin onto your chest and carves it out? Why would anyone be a Peggy? I mean, say what you will about Catholic priests, and believe me, you can say a lot, but at least they only make you say a few Hail Marys when you sin. You hear a lot about what POWs go through after they're rescued. The pain and suffering doesn't end the minute they're released from their captors. There's always an aftermath. It lingers. I feel for those people trapped down in that bunker, what they're going through. It's a living nightmare. John C. can suck my dick from behind if he thinks I'll let him tattoo me. My granny taught me how to hunt animals proper. Now I use the same techniques to hunt piggies. Transferable skills, man. Modern world's all about that shit now. The Peggies are just like pissy kids. I can't have this, so you can't either. Wah! Puh. It's like going through my divorce all over again. Sounds like bro Siv's mad. Oh, family probs. John's like that little brother who gets held down and farted on and then curls into a ball and cries. Sometimes I wish I still had my old long-range 50 cal. I could sit up in the mountains with a nice cool six-pack and just wait for John to stick his weasley little neck out. It'd be so simple. But hey, nothing worth doing ever came easy, right? So you know how we've been shooting down all them Peggy planes? Well, I was thinking that someone's going to have to hang around and clean them up, right? So, well, I don't really want to do that. So I'm thinking we should kind of keep some of these Peggy's alive as like a cleanup crew. Fucking cult keeps burning up fields. I feel bad for my friends who own that property, but I got their back. Cult's gonna pay with their blood. All the murder planes sent after us is flattering in its own way, don't you think, sweetheart? They're so afraid of us, it's kind of a turn-on. Yeah! No more roadblocks, no more shithead airplanes, no more fields on fire, and most of all, no more of that smirking fuck-faced John Seed. The sight of John's plane falling out of the sky is one I hope to never forget. Kind of fucked up, right? Most people associate that with something terrible. Not me. 
That image is crisp and clear in my mind as a positive memory. Huh, <laughs> maybe I'll dry it out and get it tattooed on my body. There's an idea. John made tattoos look real bad, man. I'm glad he's six feet under. You gotta respect the ink. He didn't even learn proper lettering or font techniques or nothing, man. No way I'd even trusted him to touch up my tramp stamp. What a piece of shit that John guy was. Known a lot of pieces of shit in my life. But he's like top two. Wait, maybe he's tied for number one even. Ugh, it's hard. Like I said, I've known a lot of pieces of shit. I forgot to ask you to take John's coat off him before you took care of him. Xander would have looked real good in it. Nothing else underneath. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, well. You ever think, man, I just, I just accomplished a very sizable feat. I mean, I, I freed my, my, my deputy friend out of John's bunker. Then I freed the rest of the hostages and blew the whole place to hell. All of it was possible because John, like a fucking idiot, kept the bunker key on him. I mean, that's how fresh he thought he was. Like, like nothing would go wrong. Well, sorry, John. It's great to see this valley full of life again. I'm seeing so many people I grew up with. Folks my pops knew. Reminds me of the old days. Still a lot of work to do, but whenever I need a breather, I know where to go. Well, power of yes didn't save John's butt. I was thinking of trying it on myself when I saw that sick ranch you had, but I'll be sticking to my own philosophy now. Thank you very much. Bio con Dios, asshole. Fucking hilarious how the cults totally collapsed here. Those idiots kept going on about the collapse, like, the collapse is coming, the collapse is near, everybody get ready. Yeah, I got your collapse right here, bitches. What do you want to bet nine months from now the Holland Valley is full of babies? Nothing like liberty to put a little sap in the old trunk. Big Brosif cannot be too pleased about little bro kicking the bucket. We got them on the ropes now, man. Ride or die. You, you supposed to say ride or die back to me. Ain't you never seen those movies? Could you, could you do me a favor and see those movies? Because I think you and I would have a lot more fun if you just saw those movies. When I think about how strong and close-knit the resistance has gotten, it makes me smile. I know my pops would be proud of what we've achieved here. Seeing us come together, fighting for one another. That's how a war is won. We drinking? Come on, let's go drinking, man. You gotta celebrate your victories. Guess I should be more happy since things are looking up. I mean, I ain't not happy. I just don't feel anything. Whatever. I fucking hate small talk. Bet the good folk of Holland Valley are glad they can go back to plowing cousins and planting turnips in peace now. All thanks to us. We're getting pretty north. And I hear Jacob Seed's got a bunch of military camps up here. That's why all them Peggy's, you know, they got a half-decent shot because Jacob trains them. Every damn day that passes, that army of his, it's getting bigger, stronger, hornier. We're in Jacob's territory now. Know how I know? Wildlife is scarce. I'm not one for hunting, but this area in particular used to be home to quite a few species. They've either been driven away or taken in for experiments. It's sad. Wolves up here is pretty big, ain't they? Too big if you ask me. Wanna know why? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, man. You ever notice how real wolves don't never attack no one ever? That's because they love people. But you know who does attack people and who does not love people because they are from people? Werewolves. Boom! Blew your fucking mind, didn't I? Yeah, these are werewolves in these parts. We got Frankensteins, too. <sighs> you know what's fucked? The wolves are disappearing. Fucking wolves, man. They're like top of the food chain around here. No animal's gonna mess with them. So what the fuck? Like I said, it's fucked. Used to meet mountain folk who'd come by the marina. They were always the most paranoid. Basement full of soup and ammo type people. Somehow, the Peggy's make them seem normal now. If we're going to stick around here, we got to keep a lookout for hunting parties. Jacob sends them out to collect strays just like us. It's best to avoid them, trust me. You don't want to end up in Jacob's chair. That's where he breaks you. Word of advice? Don't take your finger off the trigger around here. Between Jacob's army and the wolves he's poking and prodding, it's easy to get blindsided. Know who Jacob reminds me of? My high school gym teacher. 
these trial things he's running is just like 80 burpees with a wolf on your shoulders, man. Dang, wait, hold on. Is Jacob my, my old gym teacher? Is his last name Wabowski? That Jacob dude is totally fucked in the head. He reminds me a lot of my cousin Rick, who's on death row. Once when I was seven, Rick put our cat in the microwave. Sick fuck. He moved on to killing his whole family later. I saw it coming the whole way. How much do we know about this Jacob fella? He seems strong, got a good setup going on. We ought to take some photographs of him or something. Preferably shirtless, you know, for intelligence purposes. Know your enemy. Eli's leading a group called the White Tails. How fucked up is that, huh, that the militias are actually the good guys here? That don't tell you how crazy these Peggy's is. Nothing will. Jacob's using everything he learned in the military and twisting it to suit the needs of Eden's Gate. Son of a bitch is a poor excuse for a soldier, if you ask me. As long as he's alive, my pops will be rolling in his grave, all bitter and mad. I used to truck around these here parts all the time, but I still get lost, man. These woods are thicker than a 70s Playboy model's bush. Which is funny, because I used to find a lot of porn in these woods right here. Whatever happened to that, huh? Woods porn? Remember that? We used to always find porn everywhere. Now it's just, now it's just gone, man. Eli is pretty relaxed about all this shit. Said white tail morale is good. Folks are feeling strong. Me, I think this is bigger than he realizes. But I ain't worried or anything. Terrain up here's got lots of places to hide for some discreet boning. Which means there's lots of places to hide for discreet murdering, too. See? I can think strategic. Hold up. Just think about the life cycle of a Peggy for one second and try not to laugh. Okay, listen. Jacob starves them, puts them in this chair and breaks them. Then he puts them in life or death situation with these trials, which some of them don't even make them out of alive. They go through so much shit. And then at the end, when they finally make it through, they're so happy. And then you and me, we just riddle the fuck out of them with bullets. <laughs> oh, dumb. Oh, my God. They're so dumb. They're so dumb. <laughs> so how about that Eli, huh? If anyone's going to lead the white tails, I'm glad it's him. He's a good soul. Always been a helper. The type to give you the shirt off his back. The two of you working together is sure to give Jacob a headache. We've been walking around here for a while now. You know what I haven't seen yet? I haven't seen any hoods porn yet. Fucking white tails keep going missing. Shit's getting serious now. But I ain't worried. The more these fuckers fuck with us, the more revved up I get. Where are they keeping all these roided up wolves they throw at us? No matter how we mow them down, they keep coming. All fangs and fur and slobber. It's like ladies' night at the Spread Eagle all over again. Heard Eli broke into the Grandview and raised a whole lot of hell before busting you out. Man, what I'd give to see the look on Jacob's face knowing his little game of battle royale was interrupted. <laughs> but he went crying to Brosif. When I joined the army, I heard torture stories. You get put in an enemy chair and pressed for answers. Intel. That's one thing. Not a whole lot of them get a kick out of seeing you squirm. They do it because they have to. But Jacob's chair, what he does to you, he enjoys it. He likes seeing the effects. Guy's messed up. Them freaky wolves, man, they scare me. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I just gotta try to, try to decondition myself, you know? Like, think of some cute dog stuff and then, like, imagine the crazy wolves doing it. You know, like, rolling around the grass or eating their own turds or puke or going to town on their buttholes or something like that. I don't know. It hasn't worked yet, but I'm going to keep trying. Peggy's are using those judges to get after folks who escape them. Oh, they're fucking monsters. Not the judges. They're just animals. The fucking cult. They're monsters. Every time I hear that howling, I nearly crap myself. Which is saying something as I've been backed up since this all started. Can we, uh, stick together? I'm not being, you know, clingy or nothing. I just hear Jacob's released a bunch of his judges into the wild, and I really don't want to be caught alone with a pack of those. Wolves are pack hunters. Remember that before you decide to empty a full clip into one of Jacob's judges. One, two, or maybe even three other wolves could be nearby, so don't get caught reloading. 
Just make sure you got another gun. Ain't we done enough for today, man? Come on. Can't the North protect itself just for a little bit so we can go get a buzz? America used to be great, but those days are long fucking gone. If this ain't proof, I don't know what is. America used to be great, but those days are long fucking gone. If this ain't proof, I don't know what is. I just need this whole situation to be over with so I can get back to renovating my marina and pegging my Xander. Kind of fucked up what happened to Eli, huh? I mean, don't get me wrong. I did the exact same thing in your position. He was he was a good guy and everything, but he ain't a fucking pro with the shoddy. And come on, honestly, that's that's a whole lot more useful. Jacob's trials. I can't imagine what you went through, deputy. You probably don't hear this enough, but I don't know what we'd do without you. You do what the rest of us are too afraid to. Put yourself in harm's way so the rest of us don't need to. I could thank you, or I can return the favor and help you kill that son of a bitch. Sucks about Eli and how you got him killed. But don't feel too bad, though. I mean, everybody makes mistakes and gets someone killed now and again. I mean, all you can do is just keep on shooting and hoping for the best, right? These cult fucks think they're tough shit, but they're all a bunch of pussies. I've killed so many, now it's getting boring. It's like, give me a fucking challenge, motherfuckers, because I can do this in my sleep. If Jacob had an experienced woman in his life, this shit would not be happening. I'll take one for the team if it comes to that. Just don't tell Xander I said that. He'll get jealous. I don't know if I'm losing it or what, but I keep hearing that spooky song that Jacob plays. I mean, after a while it goes away, but I'm telling you, until it does, the hair on the back of my neck is stiff as Herc watching Mary May hang laundry. Jacob's army is unraveled. If we're going to put an end to this... It's got to be now while the links in the chain are weak. Let's help the white tails pick themselves back up and finish Jacob off. Oh my goodness, I just had a 10 bazillion dollar idea, man. Okay, you know how they got how they got them um them awesome butt plugs? Well, these would be like tiny butt plugs, but you put them in your ears, man, and then you can block out the sounds like like Jacob's mind control music, man. We'll call them ear plugs. Shit, wait, wow, shit, you know what, as I say that, I, I realize that somebody has, in fact, already thought of tiny butt plugs for your ears, haven't they? We're getting stronger, but we can't take our foot off the gas. The second we do, our throats are slit. Can't shake the feeling of being hunted, and not in the sexy serial killer kind of way. Oh, man, Jacob is royally pissed off. I bet he's done messing with you now. And sooner or later, he's going to make a mistake. And when he does, you and me are going to stick my flamethrower up his tailpipe and just barbecue his guts. I swear to God, once we kill Jacob, I'm going to hunt down every single last recording of that song and destroy it. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. It'll be the first song in the history of the modern world to ever be completely erased. Jacob's a CIA wet dream, man. Programming people at their computers. Murder computers, man. Fuck, not even Eli was safe. Oh, sorry, I guess I shouldn't be talking about that stuff with you right there, seeing how you're kind of responsible for what happened to Eli. No worries, though, no blame. Before this fucking cult moved in, I didn't know what I was good at. Now I know. I'm good at killing cult with a bow. What the fuck am I gonna do when this ends? Flip burgers? Wash dishes? Fuck that. You know what pisses me off the most? Because of what Jacob's done up here, I can't get wet off a werewolf erotica anymore. Oh, trust me, I tried. Xander's gonna be even more disappointed than I am. That boy sure loved to howl. Oh! Down goes a seed. Yeah, 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 you got the final word. I just think that my method would have been, well, well, a heck of a lot sweeter. Trust me, a little more zing. You know what I mean? But, uh, I don't know. Important thing here is that Jacob's hella dead, not so much as how he got to be hella dead. Man, Jacob really fucked this land up. He's dead, and we still got his judges to worry about. Sickens me to think that a piece of him lives on in those wolves. Now that Jacob's gone, I tell you what. 
we're going to finally find out the truth about them wolves. Because I have been arguing with Sharky for weeks about it, man. That clown, you know what he says? He says that they are regular wolves on HGH, man. But I know a werewolf when I see one. I tell you, one night in Kairat, I watched a regular man transform into a wolf under a full moon. And the finished product I was looking at was exactly like Jacob's wolves, man. Those are werewolves, man. I've seen them. I know. Sharky pisses me off sometimes. I raised him. What's he know from what? It ain't over until every Peggy's in the fucking ground. There's got to be a few hiding somewhere. For a guy like Jacob, I guess it was get mo or death, huh? Can't say I'm sad my tax dollars ain't paying to keep him alive. You did the right thing, Depp. Let's talk about Jacob post-mortem. It's left a heck of a dangerous cleanup job. I'm talking about those judges. Do it at your own pace, sure, but... You gotta comb the land for him. It must have been something getting your friend back. Pratt, right? Jacob made the mistake of making it personal for you. Not that you wouldn't have done what you did otherwise, but saving someone close to you is one hell of an extra motivator. I'd know. Man, I just heard that we're free again or something? <laughs> I, I must have missed something. I don't get it. I've been free and feeling great this whole time. What, y'all got emotional disorders? What happened? I kind of wish Jacob was still alive so we could torture him. Give him a taste of his own medicine, you know? I had full confidence in the white tails, you know? Anybody who chooses to live like a rabid badger has to be crazy enough to kill a man like Jacob, after all. How much more dicking around you want to do up here? Jake's dead. My flamer's jamming because the cold. We got predators around here taking shits bigger than me, and it's so damn quiet I gotta listen to my own thoughts. Let's just go kill something somewhere, man. Jacob's dead, bunkers flooded. Now all we gotta do is pick off the rest of the scrap heaps running around here. Keep an eye out for stray piggies and judges, deputy. So, Jacob's dead, huh? Cool, man. Cool, cool. Very cool. Uh, which one's he again? I got all the dudes mixed up. It, does he have a glass hand? Shit might be better, but we gotta do something about these judges, man. Fucking kill them all. Every last one of them. Now that Jacob's dead, I see no reason for us to be running around in the woods and inviting trouble. Don't get me wrong, the incline is great for my hammies, but there's ticks everywhere. Hey, I gotta keep away from that faith, man. That woman, she's got power over me, I tell ya. A couple weeks ago, saw her at the gas station. I just gave her 20 bucks. No reason. Other than, guess I wanted her to have it. We gotta be on our toes out here. Faith's got this thing called the bliss that'll fuck you right up. Makes you feel all tingly and weird. And from what I hear, you'll just want more. Talk about making people drink the Kool-Aid. Know what? Faith, she looks just like this chick Rachel I met a couple months back at the pizza place. No, wait. Wait, maybe that was maybe that was a dream. Or or a TV show? No, no, no. You know what that was? That was someone else just telling me about someone named Rachel. No, wait, they were telling me about an episode of Friends, uh, really, this really good episode, apparently, where you could see Rachel's nips through her shirt. Sound like a good one. People keep telling me how great Faith is, like she's the best thing since the internet. Look deep into her eyes and tell me she ain't the devil. Things have been weird round the Henbane River for a while, but never this weird. We gone from Woodstock to Children of the Corn, and I don't like it. Folks fighting faith in this neck of the wood are called the Cougars. Named after a minor league baseball team. Man, me and Herc Jr., we used to get shit housed to watch them every Sunday. Anywho, they're holed up at the county jail. No better place to seek refuge if you ask me. Between you and me, faith creeps me out. I've been freaked out by zombies ever since I was a kid. I'm counting on you not to let her turn me into one. And hey, I'll do the same for you. Scout's honor. So, Faith is supposed to be Joseph's sister, huh? Well, I don't know who those dudes think they're fooling because she don't look anything like them seed boys. I smell something fishy here, and for once it ain't the seat of my trousers. My cousin was telling me I needed to follow the path. If she wasn't family, I would have thrown her through the fucking window. I don't follow nobody's path. Only my own. I thought it was foggier than usual around here, but I didn't realize the mist was laced. Honest. Thought I was having perimenopause or something. Thank God I'm not. You be mindful of your senses out here. 
Face Bliss, that shit can play tricks on you, man, serious. Last thing I want is for you to mistake me for Faith. Wake up in heaven with a bullet in my head. You ever just sit back and watch the angels do their thing? Makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. I don't know. I mean, they're people, right? At least they used to be. Who knows what's going on in those brains now? What kind of guys do you think Faith is into? You think she'd be into, like, a handsome alpha male type who likes to party, swings a devastating hammer? Weird shit's going down. I don't know what it is or what it means, but I got a feeling it's only gonna get weirder. I fucking hate weird. You know, I got used to seeing angels around. Thought they were just in a commune or something. Hell, thought of joining them for a hot minute till I realized it meant shaving my head. That's the only spot I don't shave. Heard you didn't heed my warnings and you got all fucked up on bliss there, big gunner. Cougars had to come save your skin, huh? Hey, don't feel too bad about it. Stuff creeps up on you out of nowhere. It happens. I think no matter where you are, you're getting some sort of dose of the bliss. You look hard enough, you can see the little specks everywhere. Maybe that's Fate's real plan. A slow drip. And by the time you notice it, it'll be too late. I gotta be honest, dude. I am, uh, well, I'm tripping ass right now. Yeah, I was already pretty smacked off some Kyrat homegrown, but, uh, now it's mixing with the bliss, and I'm seeing some real weird shit, man. I don't know what's real and what isn't. I... Well, I didn't think I'd ever say this, but I probably should not be around guns right now. Whew. Oh, no, no, don't worry, don't worry, though. I'm. Don't be ridiculous. I'll power through, of course, but... You just might want to stay behind the Sasquatch for safety. Man, I saw this super old dude tripping balls the other day. He was probably like 50, but he was right fucked. The hell was he on? These Peggy's cosmied an entire town, and somehow they're still pretending to be the good guys. Why are scumbags so delusional? Man, that whole concept of face pilgrimage is so dang stupid, man. Fuck that long-ass walk. I can barely drag my ass to the toilet in the morning to take a piss. Which is actually, to be honest with you, uh, what started my, my piss bottle collection. I don't want to sound like a broken record, deputy. But just watch yourself around the bliss, all right? We can't lose you. In my opinion, if you turn into one of those things, those angels, the seas win, and we all die. Faith should have just... Step back and taking a hard look at that pilgrimage of hers and realize that it won't gonna do anything but kill people, man. I mean, you can't just force Americans to exercise like that. You saw what we did to the Japanese and Richard Simmons. I haven't heard from my ex in weeks. It's weird, because he usually doesn't go a day without calling me up sobbing about some bullshit. If I get turned into one of those angels, promise me you won't let them shave my head and make me garden. Just put me out of my misery before I go back to looking as poor as I used to be, please. I'm afraid if I go through another bliss field, my brain's gonna get perma-damaged. Shit, what if I become an angel, man? Promise me this. If that happens, you put on some disco and flame broil my ass like a cheeseburger. I'm starting to feel useless out here. Can't tell what's real, what's not. How much longer till we lose our minds like everyone else? I ain't gonna let that call take me alive, man. For sure they try and turn me into one of them angels and I'm too much of an alpha to coexist, man. Fuck this faith chick. First chance I get, I'm putting an arrow right through her pretty little face. I don't like that little music fest reject popping up and playing mind games. Seeing her everywhere now. Or is she just an illusion? Christ, just thinking about it gives me a headache. Search parties, angels everywhere, yep. I'd say Face got her panties in a twist right about now. Sorry, I meant to say her, her underwear. Her underwear is probably in a twist. I'm trying to be a more in, enlightened man and focus on our, our similarities rather than our differences, which is why I talk about going down on chicks so much. You know, it's about their needs, too. You know, I like it, so they must like it, too, and I just want to show them that I'm an equalitist. Tide's really turning now. Makes me a little nervous, to be honest. We've only seen the tip of Fate's iceberg. My guess is shit's gonna get real heavy soon. You're a lawman, huh? Quick question here, regarding Faith. 
wondering what steps I might have to take to have her remanded into my custody. I, I would save the taxpayers some money, and we could do like a house arrest sort of living girlfriend situation. May not seem like it right now, but we're going to take our shit back. Mark my fucking words. Seriously, write that shit down. I've been thinking about Faith. I mean, capital F, the girl. Can't tell if she's masterminding this or if she's a victim. Don't like not knowing how I feel about somebody. You watch yourself around her. God damn, this bliss is starting to get heavy. You think it's flammable? Maybe, maybe I could just burn it, no? Wait, 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 wait. No, that would be like smoking a massive bliss joint. Not a good idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my ammo. It's a dangerous game we're all playing. One of us gets pulled into the bliss. The rest of us rescue him. Only for Faith to nab someone else and the cycle continues. This shit needs to end. Now. Legally speaking, could an individually non-consensually marry someone if the person who is non-consensually married is crazy? Like, for example, if, say, this chick uh, was criminally insane but was a total smoke show, could I then marry Faith? I mean, could somebody marry a crazy person? This bliss shit is worse than meth. I hear it's how the cult fucks you up, but I can't say for sure. So many rumors swirling right now. The more we fight for the Henbane River, the more I take it in stride. I thought I was just getting used to it, but maybe it's that bliss shit getting into my system. No idea how that's going to mix with my ludes. That faith, man, she just keeps on kicking. You think you got her out of your life, and then she just works her way back in. You cannot underestimate crazy people. Cougars are doing pretty good, but I can't shake this feeling that a shoe's about to drop. It's like we're walking towards an edge we can't see. I never thought I'd be the type to settle down and let a woman purse my three nuts, but the day I saw Faith, something changed inside of me. There's something about a crazy woman who ignores me that's smoking hot that just makes me want to wife them. Faith reminds me of every other churchy fuck in America. They got that permanent crazy smile all the time. I'd love to wipe that fake-ass grin from her stupid face. No one's asking, but I vote we get rid of Faith as soon as possible. That mist has shown me some kinky shit I didn't think was lurking inside of me, and I'd rather be exploring that than out here freezing my tits off. Wow, have you guys, have you guys noticed how the angels have really dropped off? Guess that old adage is true. You cut the head off, and the body dies, and shits itself. Man, to be honest with you, I'm going to miss Flambe and those little turd nuggets. It was kind of solid pastime for a bit there. Going to miss it. Angels made for good target practice running around all crooked and shit. Shame. I don't know what's going on or why everyone seems happy around here, but I like it, man. Where's the mashed potatoes at? I'm going to stick my dick in it. It was just a matter of time before Faith got hers. Hope her pretty face is melting in hell right now. It is so refreshing to be able to walk around my turf without worrying about somebody with no hair coming at me with a garden hoe. You smell that, man? That smell of victory in my ass. Man, feels good, though. No more bliss. And that faith, boy, oh, boy, did she get dark towards the end there, huh? Can't believe you punched that witch's ticket. You're a boss, bro. The less bliss, the better. I'm telling you. It ain't easy to make a shot when your eyes are constantly welling up. Y'all remember that Faith chick? Cute little thing. Did the creepy singing, always drugging people. I gotta admit, man, I kinda had the hearts for her. I did. I did. I kinda had, I had a thing for her. I mean, I know she had her flaws. Don't get me wrong. All that evil stuff she did, but you just cannot go around this world expecting perfection. I mean, you do that, you're just gonna end up with, what? What, one of them uh, store mannequins and little panties and a wig. I mean, sure, the sex is probably out of this world, but must get born after a while, you know? Perfection and all. I hear all these folks rejoicing, and I'm thinking, what the fuck you so happy about? I mean, sure, shit's better, but shit's never going to be the same again. I keep expecting faith to pop up. Still, can't believe how much that girl shook me. She's ruined white dresses and innocent giggling forever. There goes me and Xander's usual Thursday nights. Hey, Depp. When this is all over, you ain't gonna, uh, turn me in or nothing because of all the stuff you see me do. 
Like all those murders and stuff. Because I just feel like you and I really bonded. I mean, I was thinking last night, lying in bed, that we're kind of like Fast and the Furious in a way. I'm like Dom because I'm so good looking and handsome and I'm a sexy outlaw. And you're like Brian because you're a really cool cop and you've got eyes I just want to swim in for days, you know? Anyways, we started out on opposite sides and now we're family and I just don't want to go back to being on opposite sides. Can't believe what went on out here. You see a lot of fucked up shit when it comes to war. But what Faith did to some of these people is just downright inhumane. So are you real sure Faith is dead, man? Like 110%? Because I, I got to tell you, man, that makes me sort of sad. I kind of I kind of had the hearts for her and, and sort of felt a connection, man. You know, I was thinking if she is actually dead, I was wondering if there might be any way uh, we could revive her, maybe. Uh, like through the miracle of science, like bring back maybe like a, a less evil, sort of hornier version of her. Faith's gone, and that's fucking great. But if they dig that little bitch a grave, I'm going to piss all over it. I'm glad you got rid of Faith. I really am. Still, everything about that was kind of fucked up, wasn't it? Gonna need to process, as Xander says. 